Now this next topic is something I'm really excited about. ArcGIS Indoors. This is a new product that's going to be coming out from Esri later this year. And I'd just like for a moment to share with you some of my frustration. Maybe you share it. When I'm outside, when I came to Houston, I was able to easily find a cab, a coffee shop. If I was the city of Houston, I would do land planning using a GIS to decide where to put new buildings, how to manage events. But when you go inside, you're blind. Why is it I can't find where my fellow employees work? Why can't I optimize my workspace and plan where groups should sit and how they interact? If I'm in a hospital, why is it so hard to find all the x-ray machines and the critical care facilities? We'd like to bring the power of GIS inside. And instead of hearing me talk about it, I'd like to introduce Nitin Bajaj, who's on the product team, is going to share with you the work we're doing with Indoors. Thanks, Brian. RTS Indoors is a complete indoor mapping system. This is the RTS Indoors mobile app, and we are looking at the map of this convention center. But unlike consumer mapping applications, you can enrich it with your indoor information that you need. For instance, I can do a search for assets such as a valve, people, or specific rooms, and get directions to them even on different floors. Let me do a search on the cloud readiness area that's going to open up at the expo later today. In your organizations, these very maps can become the foundation for facilities managers with information on space planning, planned inspections, and safety and security. You can use RGS indoors to provide building and campus maps to your employees, enabling them to collaborate and share with each other and find equipment in an office, campus, or industrial facility. RGS Indoors allows you to use your fellow employees as sensors, giving them the ability to see something, say something. Here, a login issue Here, I'll log an issue for a faulty projection equipment. I'll take a picture after adding the description and send it along. As you notice, it already picked up the date, timestamp, and my current location. You may have also noticed that it integrates with other ArcGIS apps, such as Survey123 in this case. ArcGIS Indoors is more than just an app. It includes desktop and enterprise tools for assembling, managing, and sharing your building and campus information. Let me show you how ArcGIS Indoors is set up. This is one of the several buildings on our Redlands campus. I'll take the georeference CAD for this multi-story building and run it through our floor plan to indoors tool to bring it into our RGS indoors information model. I'll make sure all the settings are accurate in the tool, and I'll run it. In this case, I already processed it, and this is what the output looks like. I can use the range slider in ArcGIS Pro to now filter through all of the different floors and make sure the data came through as expected. Now that we have this data, I'll enhance it by adding networks, business information, and points of interest data, such as ATMs, fire extinguishers, and people information. We can use these networks to now create multi-stop routes with preferences with preferences for elevators, stairs, and accessibility restrictions. You can also get landmark-based directions to your destinations. The data that we created in the floor plans to indoors tool is ready for use in 2D and 3D applications. 
As you can see here, this is a true 3D network that you can use for routing within and between buildings. You can also view your maps via the web using our ready-to-use 2D and 3D web experiences that come ready with a kiosk mode that you can easily integrate with your workplace and visitor kiosks. As you saw, ArcGIS Indoors is a complete indoor mapping system that helps you solve immediate problems, improve the experience for your occupants and visitors, and enable smarter workplaces. Thank you. Back to you, Brian. Thank you, Nitin. Sure. I'm really excited to see all the different kinds of business problems that you solve with this new system. Clearly, some of the ones that jump right out are finding other employees and basic office productivity, but it goes so much farther than that when you stop and think about all the indoor space problems that one can solve as you optimize and manage facilities, optimize experiences of people visiting and using your facilities. Mm -hmm.